Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In part of Node.js, we will learn how we can create a basic API with the MongoDB. So why I am mentioning here a basic API? The reason is in this video we are not going to use security tokens, schemas, and modules because these are basically a advanced uh, concept. You can say that. So first of all, we need to understand how APIs actually work, how we can create basic APIs and all, and how we can connect MongoDB with the APIs and all. right and uh, then we will just jump on security tokens on schemas and all in this video we will basically cover a uh, get method for apis and we will create three more videos for post put and delete method then we will jump on mongoose for schemas and uh, model and security tokens and all right so now let's start with the points of this video first of all we will create a new file for api then we will uh, basically import and use the mongodb configuration then we will create a api for get data from mongodb test our api with the postman and at the last we will cover a important interview question uh, related to this video so now let's start with the first one i am creating here a page with the api dot js right and here we we basically uh, create a for method in this video we will create one method and in upcoming videos we will create for method for get post put and delete so that we can cover all apis in a single page so what we need for that we need basically a configurations from uh, mongodb dot js file we created this configuration some videos ago if you want to watch this video link is given in the description box as well as in the playlist so let me just take a uh, const db connect and we can simply put here require and we can put here a file name which is mongodb after that we can uh, import express and just use a require method and let's uh, put here express and let's take a const app with the express like this and now we can create a get route and get route is basically used for get apis so let me put here app dot get and the get method you can see that will take two parameter one the path of our api second one is basically uh, you can see that callback function and here i am using uh, arrow function as a callback and it will take again two parameter request and response and uh, after that what we can do here we can just simply make a response because if we are getting something from our postman or from our front end then basically we will use uh, request so here we are just responding to this api just that's why i am just putting here response dot send and we can just simply put here a small object for a moment and we will connect with the database within a moment so let's say just put here peter and after that just simply put here app dot listen and we can provide our uh, port number and now we can run it with the you can see that node moon api dot js and now let's try to run it over browser and here you can see that this is working fine with a static object but how we can connect it with the database so let's take a const and uh, you can take a name of this const is like data db connect execute it and obviously i told you in last four videos that this db connect basically return a uh, promise so let's wait for it and uh, after that what we can do here we can just get the data again data equal to data dot find dot to array to make it in a format and again i told you again it will return a promise 
and now we can just use this promise inside the send function and now let's see what we are getting here whenever i will just refresh it uh, it will give a uh, error because we just need a uh, async function here so again let's run it actually guys this is my bad we cannot reassign the value to the let uh, to the const that's why i'm just converting it to the uh, let and uh, now here you can see that this is returning the data from database if you want to match it then you can match it from here iphone pro m40 nokia and all you can just see that all these things are here like m40 and samsung and all so uh because there is a no security token that's why we can just use it with the browser after providing a security token it will work only with the front-end applications like react and node and all uh, or you can use it with the postman so now let's try to use it with the postman and uh, guys if you don't know what is the get method post method put method and what is postman then you can ask me in the comment box i can provide a separate video on it expecting for a moment now that uh, you just already have knowledge about postman and uh, uh, api's method and all right so let me just open this postman and uh, sometime it will just take some moments and let me just uh, select here get get method from here and then we can just provide your url and you will find that this is working fine so if you want to change the url then you can change here let's say mobiles right now you will find that this api will not actually work we will just get here 404 so for that you just need to provide here the complete path the correct path and again this will work fine right so i am just remo removing it for a moment because i just want to make it on the root and uh, now it will not work on the mobile it will work on the root and here you can see the status is fine there is a time raw data preview data we can check it and everything is working fine so with that way we can create a, a api with the mongodb in the next video we will learn how we can insert data with the post method through api and uh, now let's talk about interview question in interview question they can ask that can we provide a body with the get method the answer is no here you can see that in a uh, postman not even the postman if you use the uh, react or uh, if you use the angular or view any kind of front-end application you will find that with the get method you cannot send the body you will get error right so whenever we are just selecting the get method the body option is disabled here so whenever i will just select here post this is enabled so you can say that with the get method we cannot use body or we cannot send data inside the body so how we can send the data if you want to send some data you can just send it like a question mark or with the parameter and all right but there is a no option for body with the get method so this is the interview question and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and in the upcoming video uh, we will learn more things about apis so thank you so much for watching this video please like uh, this video subscribe the channel provide your reviews in the comment box and if possible subscribe uh, share this video